The World Bank expects sub-Saharan economy to rebound moderately to 2.7% this year after a 3.7% contraction in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic and associated lockdowns which disrupted economic activities on the continent. In its January 2021 Global Economic Prospects report, the World Bank says that Nigeria's economy will witness a resumed growth at 1.1% in 2021 from the 4.1% contraction in 2020, with activities expected to remain dampened by low oil prices, agreed OPEC quota, fallen public investment due to weak government revenues, constrained private investment due to firm failures, and subdued foreign investor confidence. The multilateral lender adds that growth in South Africa will rebound to 3.3%. Meanwhile, it says that global economy would expand by 4% in the same period, assuming an initial COVID-19 vaccine rollout becomes widespread throughout the year. It stresses that a recovery, however, will likely be subdued unless policymakers move decisively to tame the pandemic and implement investment-enhancing reforms. And beginning from today, South African motorists will pay more for fuel price as both petrol and diesel will increase. Mineral Resources and Energy Minister announced this adjustment of fuel prices in a statement on Monday, citing the increases were based on current local and international factors. Let's see how this is playing out from our correspondent in South Africa, Brian Pogani. Hello, Brian. Good to see you and Happy yeah, New you Year to you. Compliments of the New Year as well. Thank you. So what is it like coming to work this morning? Has the fuel price increase taken effect? Yes, the fuel price took effect um, from midnight today. Um, so fuel prices, all grades went up between 40 and 55 cents. Um, that's both for petrol and diesel, the different grades, um, which takes the fuel price to around 15 rand. Um, it's a, it's a, a dampen to the new year. Um, most holiday makers are making their way back from their holidays. And the first thing you meet on the first week of work is a fuel increase. That's, I'm sure, the worst thing and the worst possible scenario for you to start off the new year with an increase in fuel. So there have been a few cars and speaking to motorists, they're really um, not happy about the fuel increase, especially at the beginning of the year. Even though last year we saw a huge in, um, in, uh, decrease in fuel, but there have been um, slight increases as the year went on, um, the year 2020. So kicking off 2021 with another increase, that's really bad for motorists and the economy itself. Yeah, South Africa is already battling economic crisis, coupled with rising COVID-19 cases. Uh, yeah, just as you alluded there, you've had some kind of interactions with um, motorists, and I'm sure you must have also uh, spoken to some business people. Uh, what are they saying? What soundbite are you getting? How angry are they? Well, like you say, um, most people are not really happy with them. Um situation which is happening in the country, especially with the surge in the new COVID um, variant and the numbers have been increasing over the past week and a couple of weeks. So really there's um, uncertainty in the um, economy as well. But now people are really looking forward to the vaccine and the rollout and how government is going to tackle um, the rollout of the vaccine and the acquisition of the vaccine. Um, so most people are really hoping that once the vaccine is um, has been rolled out, there's some um, a bit of hope once the vaccine is here. So people are really pushing the government to say, OK, let's just get the vaccines. Let's roll them out, give them to the health workers, give them to the elderly, then give them to the general public. Then we can get back to our normal lives and maybe the economy will get back to what it was um, before the pandemic. Now, are they happy the way uh, the government of President Ramaphosa have been handling uh, this whole issue? Uh, how optimistic are they uh, going into 2021? Well, there's um, mixed reactions, um, as you know, at the moment. Um, today, there's a National Command uh, COVID um, Command Council meeting where the president is meeting with the ministers who are in charge of the coronavirus um, council. So people are not sure whether the president is going to take us back to a harder lockdown, of which if the president does take us back to a harder lockdown, already people are skeptical about the economy and the future. But mm. if the president comes and says, OK, we've got um, a plan, for the economy to continue to run, but people must continue with um, social distancing, wearing the mask and taking care and following the COVID regulations. The economy is going to go back to what it was. So people are really, there's an uncertainty because now we're waiting for what the president is going to say, which is going to determine a lot of factors in the coming days and weeks. Because if it does take the country to a harder lockdown, obviously the economy is going to stall again. 
But if he says we're going to an easier, ease down the lockdown, which means the economy is going to kick off and January is going to be a smooth sailing and hopefully to be a better year than 2021. Let's remain optimistic. Brian, thank you very much and keep tracking those developments there and uh, we'll keep coming to you for follow-up to update us. Thank you. Thank no. you. Enjoy the Thank rest you. of the day.